Hey everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. I'd like to welcome you this afternoon. It is afternoon where I am and it's one heck of a hot afternoon. It's probably about 96 degrees today. Um, like I mentioned in my last video, I hope you watched that, um, that today I was going to start, or that my next video I was going to start a series on juicing. Basically, like I've told you ever since I started this channel, um, I want to share with you the things that I'm studying because if I find them of interest, maybe you find them of interest and maybe you'll get something informative out of it. Um, I've been really slack on my juicing over the last six or eight months. It's kind of an ordeal to juice if you've ever done any juicing before, which I'm sure a lot of you have. You know, it's not even so much the making of the juice, but you got to clean and prep the vegetables, you got to clean the machine, you got to wash up afterwards. Anyhow, that's excuses, excuses, excuses. But, you know, you get out of the routine for a while, and before you know it, you haven't been, ju haven't been juicing, you know. Uh, when I was living in the city, I had a place where I could get juice. Um, as the city being San Jose, Costa Rica, I had a couple of spots. I had a good spot for carrot juice. I could get volumes of carrot juice, and I would mix it with juice I got at uh, my little vegan uh, raw restaurant. Um, before I get started, I'll tell you a little bit. I've got my notes today because, like I say, I can't do too much of this stuff without, you know, I've been taking notes for this one. Um, why do we juice anyway? Um, okay, and one thing I've been, when I've been studying a lot of new resources or I just wanted to start, you know, like getting some proper education on this juicing thing instead of just drinking them. For me, just drinking them is enough. I know what's good. I know how my body feels but I wanted to study a little bit so that I can explain a little bit better the subject at hand. Um, vegetable juices are the builders and regenerators of the body. They contain all the amino acids, minerals, salts, enzymes, and vitamins needed by the human body, provided they are used fresh, raw, and without preservatives, and that they have been properly extracted from the vegetables. And Juices are great for breaking up mucus in the body formed by the consumption of meat, dairy, and most of And the processed food, um, we've grown up eating in a standard American diet. Now, first off, let me give you, let me tell you where I'm getting a lot of my information. You know, I go to a bunch of different websites, but a good friend of mine uh, recently, Tani Raw, uh, if she's out there anywhere, recommended Fresh Vegetables and Fruit Juices by Dr. Norman Walker. Now, I also had a book on him I didn't even realize until later on colon health. So this guy, you know, he does know a good bit what he's uh, talking about. And I'm getting some great information out of this book, even though I know, I know or think I know a fair amount about juicing. Now, there's basically two different types of juicers. Um, one is the centrifugal juicer. These are more common. They're the upright models, and that's what I've got right here. I've got a Breville juice fountain. Um, you know, they stand upright and they work best with uh, soft and hard fruit vegetables. They don't do so well with the leafy greens, the herbs. Um, definitely not, you wouldn't want to use wheatgrass with this one. And that is one of the big reasons that I'm, when I go to the States in 10 days, I'm planning on getting a new juicer. Right now, if everything goes okay, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, I'm going to be buying the Omega NC800. I believe it is. It's quite an investment. It's like 330 bucks. I'm sure there'll be tax. I don't know if there'll be shipping, but I've, I'm going to bring back seeds for wheatgrass. I've got, I want to get into juicing the, the leafy greens and the herbs. And it's just not going to work with this one. But I'm happy to have this. It's been a great, it's been a great juicer. My boy uh, Josh, who is a uh, Juice Master in Oklahoma City has a business doing that. He left me this uh, juicer when he went back to the States, and I'm forever grateful to him. If you're out there, Josh, thank you very much. Um, anyway, the, mat, the, the kind of juicer that I'm talking about getting, these are masticating juicers, and basically what they do, they're, they are horizontal, and they work at a much lower speed. And this is really what you need for the leafy greens and the herbs. Um, and because of the slower speed and the way it masticates, it, it draws more out of the fruits and vegetables. So even though this is an expensive machine, I think in the long run you're getting more out of each batch. Like for instance, my carrot juice here, I'm not totally happy with the yield on this. And I don't know if that machine will be great for something like carrots, but this was a pretty big bag and whew, I'm only at about 20 ounces. So I'm hoping I'm going to get a little bit more yield um, out of it. 
Um, why do we want to juice anyway? Well, one thing, when you take the fiber, and you definitely want to be eating whole foods. I'm, I want to mention here that even though I'm about to go into a heavy juicing period for healing and further cleansing my body, I don't advocate living on juices. The juices don't have a lot of calories to them. So as I'm drinking, even though I'm going to up my juices a lot, uh, quite a bit, I'm still going to keep eating. And I'm still going to keep eating, taking in more or less the same calories I am per day. I might do, you know, I'm definitely going to do a couple of juice fast, juice feast out there to, um, you know, to do some cleaning, some purging of the body a little bit again. But I don't, you know, as a, as a long-term thing, I don't want to do any of the calorie restricting stuff. I've gotten back, I feel like I've gained back some good solid weight, you know, eating a lot of calories, making sure uh, my carbs are up. I'm eating a high carb, uh, low fat diet these days for the last two months, pretty much since the beginning of the year. Um, now we're going to start today, as the, as the title will tell you, we're going to start with basics. We're going to start with carrot, beet, and cucumber juice. Um, carrot is one of the most uh, cleansing and healing foods available. Um, it's a natural solvent for ulcerous and cancerous conditions. Um, it's a resistant to infections, doing most efficient work in conjunction with the adrenal glands. It help prevent, helps prevent infections of the eyes and throat, as well as the tonsils and sinuses and the respiratory organs. It's, one, it's, it's definitely it's the richest source of vitamin A out there uh, that the body can assimilate. And it offers many other um, vitamins, and it's just good stuff. Um, I hope I don't go through the whole thing. I'm not going to, I, I've drank a lot of uh, carrot juice in my life, and I've never had my skin turn orange. But if you do happen to drink a lot of carrot juice and your skin kind of starts turning orange on you, don't worry about it. That means that you're getting, that you're cleansing your liver and you're getting a lot of the toxins out of your liver, and it's going to be a temporary thing. It will disappear. In other words, that's a good thing. You're detoxing. Um, what's it good for? Uh, high calcium content in carrot juice. And because of this high calcium content, carrot juice is uh, really good for the maintenance of your bones and teeth. Um, one pint of carrot juice daily has more constructive body value than 25 pounds of calcium, calcium tablets. Now let's look at this little red one here. Now this is three beets here, and I got this much juice. Almost the same amount as those two big bags of carrots, so I know this, this juice was a lot more economical. Uh, beet juice is great for the blood. It's a purifier of the blood, and it's a builder of the blood. Um, it's a great cleanser for the colon, and it uh, is good for uh, cleansing the liver also. Um, now this one... If you're new to juicing, or even if you're not, you probably want to go a little easy on the beet juice. The beet juice is a lot more, um, it's a little bit more powerful uh, cleanser. So in the beginning, you, you may only want to start off with about three to five ounces of this and mix it with a bit more of the carrot and the cucumber, which I'm going to get to in a few minutes. Um, Beet juice is of particular uh, use to women. It's very good for women during their uh, menstrual time of the month, and it's also good for women in menopause. Um, these beets are just cleansing. They're, they are kind of a superfood. They clean the blood. They clean, uh, they clean the liver. They clean the gallbladder. They just, they, you, I don't even right, quite know how to describe it. When, I, when I'm drinking uh, beet juice on a regular basis, it just feels like electricity is coursing through your blood. I'm not exaggerating. I kind of, uh, I kind of get high a little bit on the juices sometime, and I've really missed them because uh, a year ago when I was living in the city, I was hitting the juices really hard. Um, now the cucumber juice here, cucumber juice is really for refreshing. It's a very natural diuretic. Um, it... Uh, it's go oh, it's great, and this is this is something that's a very much important to me. It's really good for the teeth and the gums. Um, I've always been, you know, clean. I brush my teeth, but I have not taken care of my teeth over the years, and I've actually even had problems with bleeding gums and what have you. I've been doing oil pulling, as I may have mentioned or not, and that's helped a little bit. But I'm also looking to the juices to, uh, you know, maybe help me with this and kind of 
get rid of some of the inflammation and whatever makes it uh, bleed. Um, now when you start adding these juices together, for instance, when you add cucumber juice to uh, carrot juice, it's very effective on rheumatic, rheumatic ailments that result from excessive retention of uric acid. And this comes from the lifestyle we've had, the meat, the dairy, you know, helps to build, the processed food helps to build up this uric acid. And this juice is really good for breaking all that up. Basically, the juice in general is, is, is good for breaking up this mucus in the body. It's good for, um, you know, flushing out the colon. And it's just good for once it cleans you out, it's also leaving behind traces of good minerals, good vitamins, uh, chlorophyll, uh, just good living plant food. And when you're taking out the pulp, the fiber from this, you're, you're able to assimilate it, this into your blood in, the, in like 10 to 15 minutes. Did I say that one already? Maybe I need to find a juice that helps uh, with the mental capacity. Um, the combination of these three, the carrot juice, the beet juice, and the cucumber juice, is one of the best cleansing and healing aids for the gallbladder, liver, kidneys, and even the prostate. Um, now, Dr. Walker, I don't know if you have to be this careful with the proportions. He's got a very specific proportion in his book for a formula, and he recommends a ratio of 10 ounces carrot juice, 3 ounces beet, and 3 ounces cucumber. Um, for a 16 ounce jar. Most of the time when I'm drinking, I drink, you know, it's a minimum of a 32 ounce jar of this. And while I'll probably use a little bit more carrot, um, I will not use that little or those smaller proportions of the beet and of the cucumber. And quite honestly, a lot of times it depends on what I have, how I mix. It's like, this is what I've got out of this juicing that I did today. So I'm gonna mix it up. Uh, if I, go, if I use too heavy on the carrot juice, I won't have much left. So I'm going to have just a little bit of this right now. I'm not actually my juice time, drinking time is going to come a little later in the afternoon. But this is too good to pour up. So I'm going to say just about just in this little glass, maybe like this on the on the carrot. This on the beet. that on the cucumber. Just a little cocktail for now. But um, okay, now I use my notes for the for the fancy scientific stuff and it wasn't all that fancy and scientific but why juice? Basically why juice? Um, like I told you, this, my show and me, this is just an experiment with one guy. Um, when I'm juicing I can't even quite describe the feeling. I just have more. I just have more energy. I mean, I know I'm eating well right now, and I know some people don't see any value in juice. And there's a lot of people that I respect their opinion, and I watch their YouTube channels. They just care less about juicing. Um, even when I'm keeping my calories up and eating plenty of carbs um, and what have you, I still don't have the same zing. The same. Uh, oomph in my step. I just don't have that uh, energy coursing through my veins that I do when I'm juicing. Back in the summer, I'd say back in, uh, well, back in April, June, May, June of last year, I was drinking about, uh, what's 32 times 3, 90, 96 ounces of juice a day, as I mentioned before. 32 ounces of orange juice first thing in the morning, 32 ounces of watermelon midday, and then 32 ounces of green juice sometime around two or three. And man, I'll just tell you, I was, I was just feeling phenomenal. I don't have, I don't feel bad now, but I really want to take that uh, energy level back up, and I want to do some cleansing again. I'm really even going to tighten down on the few things that uh, I still permit in my diet that maybe don't serve me as well as they do. Uh, I've cut back on the oil, that's one thing. Uh, I've been using Himalayan pink sea salt, but I've probably used a little too much of that since I hadn't used salt in so long. I want to get back to using another juice. I want to get back to kind of using celery juice. 
as a natural salty flavor for um, you know different recipes and different foods. But anyhow, this is just going to be the first one. You know, I just wanted to start with the simple juices today. If you would even add, you know, don't try to go crazy. And if you haven't ever juiced, drink a tumbler full. Drink a sixty. Like here, here, here's your here's your very first regimen to do with juicing. Um, start out well anything you add is good if start out with one but I would say two of these I'd say about let, let's say two 16 ounce servings per day of carrot beet and cucumber it's a great place to start and if you do that you're gonna and you're, you're eating you're eating a whole food plant-based diet also you're gonna clean out your body you're gonna start you know I don't know depending on where you're coming from you may feel a little bad before you feel good I'd have to do some detoxifying, but just doing those two. Do those two regularly for a while and see how your health improves. See how your uh, energy improves. And, you know, start out, if you have to, get a cheap juicer. Get one of the ones at Walmart for $50 or $60. I don't know how much this one is. It's probably a $100 juicer. Um, but however much you spend on it, it's really beneficial. I mean, if you're, you know, if you're struggling to pay the rent this month, it is what it is. You can't decide. But if it's just a matter of, ah, do I really want to spend money on a juicer? Yeah, you do. Because it's about your health. Um, anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel. And, you know, intersperse between my other videos. This is just the first one in an ongoing series, and I will be coming back to you uh, every so often uh, doing another video on juicing and get your juice on be happy be healthy be well thanks for joining me and peace